Hey guys, Apoc here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got something special. If you haven't noticed, look on the screen. It says test server. Actual freaking test server status, guys. I feel like I'm one of the cool kids now. All right? <laughs> I'm able to kind of get on here and check out some really cool stuff. I'm very much appreciative of this. And so with that, make sure to like and subscribe so we show the uh, you know the video to as many people as we can. And let's get into it, guys. Let's start checking this out. So first, I want to go over this hero, Ymirit, right? Check this freaking guy out here. First, let's check out the uh, the clip here. Forget. <laughs> all right so go over here let me turn uh turn sound back off all right cool so that is a little video of this guy now his uh bond skill is with this little lady here anora she's uh super sexy looking really cool i got a little bit of a booty on her there <laughs> but uh she's actually really good i've got her uh promoted up and started i'm not doing any awakenings on this that way you can kind of get it a little bit basic you know I don't, nobody's gonna be doing any awakenings on these guys anytime soon but what I did do is I go ahead and uh, skill these guys out for us. So we know, generally speaking, what to look for as far as um, the high level of attack, uh, the maxed out skill version uh, of their abilities and things like that, right? So we kind of give you a good idea of what the potential of this hero could be once you get it reasonably maxed out, promoted, things like that. All right, so first let's go into the kit. We'll go over a brief run through of the hero, and then we'll go into put in some gameplay and actually see how the hero performs, right? So first off, let's go over the talent. It says, when deployed, unleashes moral winds, inflicting slow on all enemies within two tiles, extending the duration of freeze on them by 50%. Wow, that's gonna do real good with um, like Mari and, um, uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Boreas, you know, things like that. Uh, only about 50%, uh, up to a maximum extension of 1.5 seconds. The hero gains freeze immunity, which is always good. It kind of makes me think there's going to be some freeze, um, you know, coming from the bosses or something like that in, in some future content. So that's going to be good to know, you know, good to, good to have, I should say, right? So let's start off with the basics here. Deals 100% AOE damage. This is a physical attack, not magic. Physical attack, 100% AOE damage uh, to the target and their surrounding enemies, up to five enemies. So that's good. Be mindful, though. This is be mindful of uh, something with uh, Captain Reeve. Um, does slow on up to 10 enemies, right? So you need to, just because it says AOE, it doesn't mean it's going to hit every single person, right? Or, or, or just because uh, it's inflicting slow doesn't mean it's going to hit every single person. You really need to be mindful of, of exactly how many enemies it's hitting up. All right. Just just be aware when you're using a hero. Just be aware. Right. That's, that's how you're able to use the hero to its best uh, you know abilities. And then it says uh, passive. I love passives, man. When uh, targeting enemies inflicted with freeze, ignore 25 percent of their defense. Huge. When uh, Winter's Bites introducing the ultimate gear for military fans and gaming enthusiasts alike. The Death Aider Pro Gaming Mounts dominate the realms with precision and speed tailored for your gaming needs. Feel the magic in your hands with every click and movement. With the Razer Black Widow Pro Gaming Keyboard, unleash your full potential with this mechanical beast. Experience lightning fast responsiveness and performance you can drive into the world of Walker of Realms. Winter's Bites, when Winter's Bite on any enemy triggers freeze, deals damage equal or magic damage ranging from 100 to 450% based on the effect duration of the triggered freeze. Now that's awesome because I was just saying this is physical 
and now this is magic so that's cool you know magic damage right there right the winter's bite reduces movement speed by 25 percent stacking up three times so that's cool when reaching three stacks inflicts freeze on the target for two seconds Jeez, does not apply to targets already inflicted with freeze wow okay so crazy crowd control and then you get both uh physical and magic damage uh being done looks like some pretty large amounts up to 450. uh this magic damage reaches the maximum when the effect duration reaches 4.5 seconds that's cool that's cool that's cool okay let's see what this uh another passive okay when deployed gains six stacks of scale armor when possessing scale armor deals damage deals higher damage to closer enemies uh up to a maximum increase of 30 percent when receiving damage loses one stack of scale armor up to one stack <laughs> can be lost every one second when the ultimate ends restore scale armor to full oh okay okay so that's that's uh in relation to the ultimate there increased damage by five percent and all damage reductions by five percent per stack so up to six stacks that's pretty nice that's pretty nice five percent times six right off the bat when deployed that's nice that's nice all right what is what is this guy over here ancient blood passive increases team members damage by four percent oh, okay 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 uh this is the what the unnamed uh or whatever group so um uh who's the ajax in there you know so that's nice just right off the bat an extra four percent um that's nice that's nice all right let's check out this passive see this is what i really like i, I played around with it a little bit and I, I was able to check this out right this is called undying devotion it's the passive and it is the bond skill right so this is very important for the bond skill you need to make sure to have uh uh what's her name uh nora Alora nora there we go got to make sure to have a nora too but this um right here bond skill check it out it says obtain the hero nora to unlock the following effect blah 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 it says there is a 20 percent chance to inflict an extra stack of winter's bite when emirate receives fatal damage for the first time he transforms into a dragon egg with all of the rage cleared right so it's kind of uh it's kind of like a um a tour door uh, you know when he dies it has a, a ability to come back for a, a you know a second uh second wave so to speak right this 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 guy does the same thing but in, instead of just dying and coming back he dies and turns into an egg and that egg will will, will have a new little life bar uh or, or a new yeah a new little life bar and, and then it will count down when, once that 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 timer counts down the dragon resurrects into a full-blown dragon again and you can do everything all over again that's great but if if the uh um, life of that little egg gets destroyed before the counter uh, or the you know the the timer uh counts down then you're dead you know what i mean uh, but, but that town uh, the timer is is fairly quick here i'll show it to you when we get into it but that right there is really cool really cool and able to um sustain quite a bit of damage uh, and then we'll do the ultimate, right? When activated, it ascends into the air. Check that out. Launches up in the air. Expanding attack range and reducing block to zero. Can't block anything if you're in the air. Makes sense. Basic attack now turns to frost breath, dealing 180% magic damage. AoE magic damage to the target and the surrounding enemies, hitting up to eight enemies, inflicting one stack of winter spite on them. Allies within the talent range receive freeze immunity um during the effect okay so all allies re receive freeze immunity during the ultimate but be mindful this is something I i'm noticing here the uh, uh basic here is physical attack but then this has a magic attack and the ultimate is magic attack right so be mindful if you're trying to hit a certain type of, of enemy and you're like oh i'm gonna physical attack the hell out of this guy and then all of a sudden you pop in your your ultimate and do enough magic damage you're probably not going to do much right so so just be mindful be mindful uh we know there's certain situations where you need to use physical attack heroes in a certain situation when you use magic attack blah 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 so just be aware that it swaps around but with that being said uh i got frigid flame on them nothing fancy all you guys should have something similar if not 25 at least you know 13 15 some something like that right so i got frigid flame on him 
That should really help uh, help him increase the damage every four seconds when no damage is taken. Stacks up three times. Um, stuff like that. So that should really help. That should give me about 33% extra damage. And as long as he's not taking any damage, he should maintain that damage increase. All right. <clears throat> like I said, no uh, there. I'd max that out. So promotion. Gear watch. Now, yes, this is all glowing. Um, uh, what do you call it? Ancient gear. Yes, it is. Test server. They just give you a bunch of gear. I had to do a bunch of rules. And so what I did to kind of make it a little more realistic is I didn't upgrade any of these uh, or ascend any of these to the uh, bigger, better gear, right? So I kept everything on, you see these uh, T1, right? Uh, tier one gear, I guess you'd call them. Uh, I guess is what they're trying to refer to as now. Um, but yeah, this is just basic gear that everyone should be able to get. Granted, the stats are fairly good. The stats are fairly good. So this should be on par with what a lot of these um, other better gear sets would be, right? And this is just a quick equip, man. I didn't go through there and do nothing crazy. Just quick equip, kind of gets you some good stats and kind of gets you a good idea of what we're doing. So look, we got 33K health, not too fancy. 15K attack, nothing fancy. And then uh, crit capped with 351. Now I do have him 520 attack speed and that's with this. So I should probably actually swap that out. I don't like the attack speed there. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's do, do here. And we'll do let's let's put some more attack on this guy do attack and do something like that hey there we go Ooh, look at that crit damage only a little bit more than what i got there uh but i do get the attack speed yeah let's do that boom boom all right so that puts me up to 17.4 Crit capped and 350. See the speed dropped down a little bit, but we're fine. 380. We're gonna have fun with that. We're not trying to build the best hero in the game right now. We're trying to showcase the hero and see what this guy is able to do. All right, so we got him set up. Shows you the gear. Shows you the artifact. Shows you what he can do. Let's get into it, and let's go. First, I want to go ahead and jump into where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can. <laughs> jumping around geez what am I, i'm bypassing it where is it man here jesus okay that's what it was all right so we're gonna jump down to nightmare two right and this is all we're gonna jump into just give him some healings that way he can uh you know survive uh some of the blasts a little bit more but we're going to try to see how far he can last with just these two but at the same time checking out some of his gear so let's get after it <laughs> All right, one time, perfect. We will put you down square in the middle. Check out that that uh, attack range, though. That's pretty nice, right? Just like a normal fighter. And then we'll go ahead and put the heal on you there. Make it nice and fancy. Now what we're going to do, like I said, put it on two times, and uh, I got it on auto now. Now check this out. As you see him fighting, he lifts up in the air when he does his ultimate, does all the damage there. Outstanding, outstanding. Now what we should do is hold this now. I'm gonna to try to use the ultimate during the um, the shield, right? Uh, well, not this one. We should get this one just fine. See, already, already, perfect, great. All right. See, the damage is already doing pretty good. The damage is already doing pretty good. We'll look at the full stat right afterwards and get a better idea of the total stats, but let's see if he can clear this next shield all by himself. Ymir, you can get it done, buddy. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Waiting for the asteroids. Meteor. All right. There we go. Can we get it done? Can we get it done? Are we going to get cleared? Yeah, we're getting cleared. <laughs> or almost, right? Ideally, if it was anybody else, you'd be cleared. I do got a pretty decent amount of health on him there, I guess. Um, let's see. I would like to see him turn into the uh, the egg for you guys. That's what I'm really waiting on. Almost there. Boom, right there. All right, see that counter? is counting down, counting down. Still got some health, though. His own little health bar of that counter is counting down. Come on, come on, don't die, don't die. Oh, got him. 
but that, that right there was the example you know if you let that counter count down without receiving fatal damage uh, he comes back alive and you can continue attacking so that's really good there and i mean six million damage right off the bat it's hard to kind of um understand what that really means when it's when it's nothing but um he's able to do quite a bit of damage now the other thing i want to do is check out how he performs with a team right so we already have the bond effect naturally in there because we have the other uh, bond hero in our team uh you know in our roster on the account right so it's automatically there let's go ahead and jump into i'm sorry what am i doing yeah raids jump into raids we're gonna go to gear raid Go to gear raid one all right guys we are on gear raid one stage 21 no power of dominance because i have not beat these yet we're gonna go ahead and try to jump on into this and see if we can go ahead and knock it out all right so here's the team yamir is in here we're gonna watch him do all the damage he can but i've also teamed him up with Reyes so that freeze and, and everything like that can do some good she is in there uh anora she is the bond skill with this one and um I just got two very basic um uh, uh what do you call them? lords in there no no legos not like that just some very basic stuff that everyone should basically have um as far as uh, uh lords go now everything else i've got three healers in there two of them are rage regeners just just for extra um extra fluff i'm really going to try to put down as little people as possible to try to get this done and we're going to see if we can get get it going all right let's get into it well, let's see how this dragon can shine. Uh, put dragon on first. Speed up that, that play time a little bit. Times two. Put down Boreas. Try to get some damage uh, out on the field here. Crank it up. Crank it up. Good deal. Good deal. And then we will go ahead and put the rage regener out there get both of those guys popping off cool 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 nora next perfect mm, excuse me they're taking care of just about all of them by themselves so i'll wait for hers until this next time around here i will put that lady right there excellent now i can pop you and i'll pop you too excellent 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 the second healer up there so we got that popping and beret is going to have some fun now dragon again as everything is looking fancy we'll put the healer down here and then my last dps hero and we'll let it ride we'll let it ride get that going we'll save her excellent see going pretty well pretty well pretty well pretty well him again and then we'll pop Boreas. there we are there we are really no need to uh pop anyone else right now we seem to be doing everything we need oh he got it on the side here my bad wouldn't pay attention to that huh <laughs> all right we got this we got the big wave coming we got the big wave coming look at him as soon as they start hitting that wall that's what i'm pop a locking the heels and then Boreas. Excellent. And then get her some love going. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that damage popping off. Jesus, nothing but numbers. And then we'll put that guy back out there. Perfect. Now we'll just let them all ride, son. Let them all ride. Get them all. Get them all. Get them all. Hurry. Uh oh, we're getting there. 44, 45 out of 59. The wall's taking some damage, guys. The wall's taking some damage. Get them all going. There we go. Now we're looking healthy. 56 out of 59. we we'll also got a little bit of HP left. Ooh, that was close, buddy. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> 58, 59. We got it, baby. We got it. We got it. Tearing them up. Tearing them up. Tearing them up. There we go. All right. Now we're just tearing down the last one check him out all right none of my healers need anything check it out man finally got him all right good deal right as his ultimate was up again 
All right, so let's take a look at the damage. Let's see what this guy was able to pump out. Hey, check it out. All right, wow, Nora was killing it too. She's at 70. Jesus, bro, I want to do a video on her next. He was at 44, so he was even above Boreas. He was even above Boreas. Look at this, the dragon out here just murdering folks. Even as he jumps up in the air and, and, and starts waylaying people, that just further helps this guy, which in turn further helps this guy. But you know what I mean? Like they they, they kind of bounce off each other, I've noticed, with the whole freeze thing, and uh, which in turn boosts his damage, but also makes him more useful, right? So, ah, I really like that. I really like that. 40, 40, 40, look at that. Look at that. I'm actually really surprised she did 70. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Here, let's go over real quick the gear. I, I, I'm pretty sure I did already, but just so you kind of guys know, I'm not I'm not playing around here. There's no there's no crazy stuff on this, right? Look at this, look at this gear. Look at this gear. He's at a 17, 350, 100% crit crap. You know what what makes his his as a uh, BP look so high is I got a maxed artifact. You know that obviously helps with just about freaking everybody, but um. It, the stats are, are not outrageously crazy. You know, attacks a little bit higher, but not outrageously. I mean, 350 is not, not that high. You know, uh, attack speed, 380, not that high. Attack interval, 1.4, not that short. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's definitely room to improve if you can put some better gear on him. But uh, this this, this, guy's, this guy does some, does some damage. I really like the fact that he has this egg. This egg really helps prolong the hero if he were to start getting in a little bit of trouble i really like that idea i really like that idea it's, it's, it's like an unkillable almost and i really like that they're adding more unkillable type uh, um uh you know uh mechanics to the game they are giving you more um more strategies for you know <laughs> that last minute right before you die type situation and I really like that. So I'm 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 really excited what he's gonna be like and um really excited to see what he's gonna be like in, in Void Rift. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. There's a couple of levels in Void Rift, which he's gonna be outrageous. But you know, even real quick, uh didn't have any any super fancy gear on her either. None of these guys do. Uh damn, she was up at 19 though. That was just quick equipped too. Jesus, buddy. But 330. Maybe that's why she was killing that damage, man. 19. Ooh. And then, you know, Boreas, all these guys were just quick equipped, really. Um, Boreas, he's only at 16, you know what I mean? And, and 260, ooh, that's low, ooh, that's low. And, and these guys were still killing it, you know what I mean? So it's just a great team uh, uh, to, to use this guy with not only her, obviously, if you get her, but then put some Boreas in there, too. I mean, any type you, anytime you can add more freeze-type um, heroes with skills, uh, it's gonna just make this guy even more useful so i really like him i really like him a lot um let me know what you guys think about this guy make sure to like and subscribe it really helps push the video out but leave a comment let me know what your feedback is what do you like about this guy what do you not like about this guy do you like that he has a bond scale with a little booty chick here you know that's that's pretty cool too where's my school there we go eh, 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 eh. Got, got that little booty going on but i really like the uh i like her overall thing it's weird that her wings attach like right at her freaking lower spine, but uh, I mean, hey, it looks cool, man. <laughs> it looks cool. I, I like the uniqueness. I love it. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think. Till next time, see you in the next video. Apoc out. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, Apoc out.